Happy Vlogmas. Another year, another December is upon us. Today's vlog is from Tuesday, December the 1st. I started off the day doing what I normally do every weekday. That's waking up at at least 6.30 uh, to get some work done. So morning time is when I get my best work done either by myself, with my sister. Today I was by myself just doing some office work. I check up on emails. I respond to YouTube comments. I pretty much do everything by myself. Next, I decided to take my blood glucose, so Thanksgiving was a carb catastrophe, right? Uh, no regrets, but still, like so many carbs, so much sugar, like all of the things. So I decided to take my blood sugar to like see what we were working with. I'd actually been fasting for two days, so I wanted the results. So I'm just coming off of a two day fast. Where is my phone? Okay, so I celebrated Thanksgiving with hashtag all the carbs this year and so I actually went off plan on Thursday which was Thanksgiving and then I fasted on Friday and then we had Thanksgiving part two on Saturday and then I fasted on Sunday and Monday and so now I am as you can see yeah 59 and a half hours fasted it's gonna be over 60 by the time I finish because I'm not about to break my fast for at least another couple hours but I thought what I would do is go ahead and test my ketones and my blood glucose. You know, one of the benefits of fasting is getting your body back into ketosis quicker, using up all of that sugar that you've eaten. So I am going to see what that's looking like today. 86. That is much higher than I prefer for it to be first thing in the morning. But I mean, that's okay. 86 is still good. 0.1 so as you can see still not back into ketosis but I mean that's to be expected it takes my body a while to get back into ketosis even after fasting I mean with the amount of carbs that I had like I'm not surprised so it's not about whether or not you're in ketosis it's about are you doing the activities to get you there so it's just, I can't be mad that my body's not in ketosis but what I can do is make sure that I'm eating keto so that my body will get back there so I'm not too bummed. It is what it is. Then we got on to my favorite part of the day, the zip fish shake. And today we are having, bam, pink lemonade. Classic. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To finishing out the year strong, to being on plan, to celebrating the holidays in whatever way makes most sense to you and helps you reach your goals. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. It is so tart. It is so tart. After that, my morning pretty much went as usual. I did Les Mills Shabam today. It was awesome. Like, I was definitely phoning it in. Like, I was just like, oh, I'm dancing, yeah. But like, still, I was moving, and I did the entire workout. So that's a win, right? Uh, and then, I was trying to get Milton and Madeline to be good dogs. They are not good dogs, but still. We had our little morning time, and then I broke a 60-hour fast with a couple of cheese snacks. I don't know if that was the wisest thing to do, but it was delicious to eat the cheese snacks because this week I am doing 10 total carbs, actually this entire month. You're gonna see Vlogmas with 10 total carbs leading up until Christmas, so I got nothing going on until Christmas Day, right? So I'm doing 10 total carbs, so that cuts out like all of my almonds that cuts out my vegetables and my quest chips and my quest bars all the sweets essentially so i had to start off the day with some cheese and then we had a particularly eventful youtube live where christmas came early and i got awesome gifts from chris and miriam aquito chow and joe and rachel from two crazy kiddos oh my god a box inside of a box that is my absolute favorite thing to receive ever okay and look the box has keto chow on it. Look, with, with a truckload of, of presents. I'm so excited. Look at this mug. It says stay warm and chow on. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Is this, Richard, you're going to love this. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm assuming I've never 
seen this flavor before, but this ba -ba -da -ba, new I think flavor. That was pretty good on my guess. Apple pie. I think like that was pretty good on my that guess. That is. Richard's gonna love that. That's all I'm gonna say. But like, that's, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what this tastes like. Okay, so that was Christmas number one. Oh my god. There's a Christmas number two. I didn't even know this one was here. So, yeah, I got a package yesterday. Okay, you're gonna have to close your eyes. Okay, okay, they're still closed. They're closed? I got an Instagram message from two crazy ketos, or two crazy saints, as might have said. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't it amazing, everyone? Oh my you guys, Joe and Rachel sent this to us for Christmas, and this was just the best oh thing in the entire world, so isn't it? I am just so grateful. This is so amazing. Yes, isn't it? Can you believe that? This is absolutely amazing. My life is so blessed. Thank you guys so much for those wonderful and amazing gifts. Me and Richard are definitely going to enjoy them. I appreciate you guys so much. After the live, I actually had to prepare my food for the week because I didn't cook anything last week because carbs giving. You know what I'm saying? So this week I wanted to have taco tray. It's like half taco tray without a lot of the fixings. So once again, no quest chips, no lettuce but I can still have my taco meat, cheese, sour cream, my homemade chipotle mayo, all of that stuff I could still have. So I pretty much made like a taco bowl, a real life taco meat bowl in pork rinds. So that's what I ended up having for lunch. It was very heavy and filling. I had like two thirds pound of meat, like it's a lot. It was tasty and extremely low carb. For dessert, once again, my typical sweets are out the window, so I had to go back to Old Faithful, which is like my chocolate whipped cream. So I basically had four tablespoons of whipped cream. I put a scoop of the preferred keto chocolate collagen in there because it only has like three total carbs. I think two of those are fiber. Winter, even though I'm counting total carbs, my entire day had been so pretty much no carb up to that point that I could still use three carbs for that chocolate whipped treat and it was delicious. It tasted like a frosty. It was amazing. After lunch, I did some reading, I did some office work. Amber came over, so we had a lot of meetings for Twinergy that we had to do today. It was really fun. We got a lot of work done. All we basically do is plan for the future and figure out what we're gonna do, but like now we actually gotta start doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Less talking, more doing. That's for me and you as well, okay? Let's ramp up this last month of the year. Like, let's let's go into 2021, like, already on a high so that we can go even higher, you know what I'm saying? So, she always gets me pumped whenever she comes over here with motivation. So, that's what we did today. Uh, and then finally, I finished up the day with reading a self-help book. So I'm getting ready for 75 Hard, which if you don't know about it, I might put a link in the description of this video. It's basically where you do some hard stuff for 75 days in a row. A few of us in the WAC fam are gonna start it on January the 4th. Well, that's a Monday. I'm starting it on January the 3rd, which is a Sunday, cause like Sunday is the true first day of the week. Comment down below, are you team Sunday or team Monday? Which is the real first day of the week to you? Although let's be honest, there's an actual correct answer to this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be starting on the first Sunday in January. And one of the things you have to do during 75 hard is read 10 pages of a self help and development book every single day. And you guys know I don't like to read too much, okay? I will listen to a good audiobook every once in a while, but like actually physically turning the pages is something that I have not done in a very long time. So I am working to get back in the habit of it. Also, the book that I read was a super quick, easy read. I finished it in like two days, which was really good. And it was super motivating. And every time I read something, I'm like, oh, that was so great. I should read more often. So it's kind of like going to the gym and working out. It's just like, you kind of dread leading up to it. But then once you actually do it, you're like, that was so helpful. I should continue to do that more and more. So one book down, another one to go. Overall, today was an excellent day. Albeit pretty boring. I mean, this year's Vlogmas is gonna look different. Like, we ain't going nowhere. I ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I wanna make sure that you guys are in the loop. 
the entire time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!